Usually when we are counting time, we count in uh, in steps. So this here represents steps. So every single point that we put here is a step. And uh, then we can combine these into beats. So if we go to the piano roll and we can see that we are in step mode and we have the same grid as we had in the in the um, in the channel rack. So now if I do something like let me take the mixer. If I do if I put something here, you see uh, if I take that, it's the size of one step. Now, four steps is a beat. And uh, four beats is a bar. So that's the basic measure of, uh, as you can see, this is a full bar. And if I put beat, then we have four beats here. And if I go back again to step, we have four steps in one bar, one beat. So what happens here is that uh, when we count time, uh, we count time in, in beats. So let's call this, for instance, is BPMs, so beats per minute. And if we enable the metronome, we will see that this will be beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. So let's do the counting. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Another thing that we normally do in music is whenever we get to beat two, this one, instead of saying one, we say two. And when we go to beat three, Instead of saying one again, we go to beat three. And the same goes for beat four. So it's usual, it's normal that sometimes we say one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So this, uh, the first name, the first number here shows us or gives us the, the indication of in which beat or in which bar we are in. So this is the normal counting of the of the um, of tempo here in FL Studio. 